Hello. It's been a while since I put a video out about Crypto Hopper. So today, that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk about Jackrabbit on Crypto Hopper. It is alive and well and, quite frankly, doing very good. But before we get to Crypto Hopper, I want to put this discussion into a context. The context of the bearish market that we have entered roughly around November 14th to 15th until roughly around the middle of January. As you can see, 30 thousand dollars or 50 percent value of bitcoin some assets within the crypto market have dropped as much as 75 percent jackrabbit made money throughout this entire period both the signals and the strategies that is what I am going to focus on in this video, is how Jackrabbit weathered the market, both for the short term and the longer term. We're going to look at roughly nine months to a year's worth of data. So let's get started. Here I have my dashboard for one of my paper traders. This is where I do all my research. This is where I do everything I explicitly tell you not to do. I deliberately trade coins that are poor quality to see just how bad they can get. I deliberately look for coins with low volume and low liquidity. And here is my current dashboard. As you can see, coins that are both good quality and low quality mixed. Now you can see the values that the paper trader says I have invested and how long I have been holding these assets. The point is, for Jackrabbit, time doesn't matter. I've said this before, and I'm going to reiterate it here. Don't focus on a daily percentage. That is misleading, and that will only cause you great difficulty in understanding how a process works. Always focus on the trade cycle. The very first purchase to the very last purchase. That is what will guarantee you your percentage of profit each and every time. I meet within a reasonable expectation my consistent profit of 2%. That is the whole point of this thinking process. The process is about developing techniques that are proven, consistent, and reliable. That is critical. As you can see here, I have signals from the premium strategy. That is what this paper trader mostly analyzes, is the premium signals. Now let's focus on strictly the sales. So let's take this out. Shrink this up and research. So you see the amounts that are invested 
These are the important parts. Simple, consistent, flat tick profit. Coins that are absolute royal pains are always profitable with patience. Jackrabbit is an attack strategy that deliberately and intentionally attacks the market. That attack strategy, though, means careful analysis, careful testing, careful coin choices. That is what this paper trader deliberately doesn't do. It trades every single coin on Binance, every last one of them. No matter how good or how bad, if there's a signal, it will find it. Let's see if I can find a coin that is, well, not very good. Okay, it didn't find it because it didn't produce signals. So even as aggressive as this is, weaker coins don't get good signals. That's why your paper trader is so important. You will see and be able to test market conditions that you shouldn't trade with real money until you feel comfortable. So let's get into the meat and bones of the Jackrabbit Premium Signals. How well has it done? Let's specifically go to the statistics. Here is where I made changes, and you see the new changes here, to improve consistency with the extreme volatility of what the market was doing. And let's see if I can get this to show up the charts. There we go. So this is where my current situation is. And this is my current returns. Now remember, I'm only using very minimum amounts. So for this particular trading process, this is absolutely wonderful. Here, of course, is the profit graph, and you can see some days it just doesn't trade at all. So this would be a 0% daily return. But you can see the average of the signals, and the average of Jackrabbit, the strategy, both meet my target of 2% on average. That is critical. That is important. My trade cycles always complete where I expect them to. I just don't know how long it will take. Now I have a wide range. Of. Coins that I trade. And I use the config pools to break them down to market cap. I also use just pure signals once in a while, which is what I'm doing right now. But as you can see, profit. Always profit. No stop losses. No early exits. Just profit. Consistency is what this whole process is about. And that is the entire approach. Consistency. Some coins are going to be shining stars. Some coins are going to be below average on a consistent basis. You can see how much I've traded of each coin. The highest. And the lowest. Again, signal strength is everything. 
And of course, you see how the budget looks for this analysis. This doesn't paint a whole picture, though. And for that, I want to actually open this up a little bit more. Let's go to roughly when I started really pushing this paper trader. Again, you can see where I've updated and adjusted the strategy as needed based upon market conditions. I'm always watching the market, and this is part of my tools. So that whenever I see changes in the market, I make adjustments to make sure everybody that's connected to the strategy and to the signals get the best opportunities possible. course you see more profits two thousand four hundred and thirty six trades two percent ninety signals two point one six percent remember the signals are meant for larger position sizes so if you have a thousand dollar position sizes this would have given you two percent per trade so 90 trades two percent of a thousand twenty dollars 90 times 20 that's eighteen hundred dollars if i did my math right that's not bad and of course the profit scale with one signal reaching way up here in profit. Now let's look at the overall time factor. Let's see what the worst case coin is. Two days for the worst case coin. Not bad. Again, you see my average is always within what I expect, a cool, reasonable 2%. My worst one, yes, I have a few coins that really don't do well, and I shouldn't be trading to begin with, like this one. But let's go to this one, 1.98%. No, it's not 2%. But I'm still making money and I still paid my fees. It's reasonable enough that I'm happy. And the number of coins I've traded. And the highest percentage they've brought in. Or excuse me, the percentage of my total. So, REP. Not a strong coin. Not one I recommend you trade. Augur is a hot nightmare, but with the right strategy and patience, it's a profitable hot nightmare. Now, you see that I don't take losses because I don't sell. I simply let my coins take their time and average into a profit. Simple, consistent, and really the most important way to manage a market. Now, my worst case profit, it's still reasonable enough, it's still acceptable, it's still above my fees. So that makes me happy. Okay, this is a little messed up, so let's get this to a date. Let's see if we can get this to a date that 
gives us a better look at the chart. So let's go to September. Back then is when Crypto Hopper was having a few problems with its systems. So let's see that we can get this to where we can get this sorted out. Okay, still shows September. Let's go straight to November and get past when we were having problems. Okay, here we go. Not a lot of activity. You can see where I started really cranking down heavy on my signals. And then you can see where I made some more adjustments. Slow and steady, but on the bigger picture, you'll notice that you don't have these deep accumulation cycles. This is what I wanted to avoid when I, make, when I made the adjustments. I didn't want these deep accumulation cycles because this is quite a bit to be holding for a lot longer than what most people are comfortable with. So as you can see now, the signals are performing quite well, stable and consistent over the long term. Okay, this shows August. So let's go to August of 2020 and get a close-up of that picture. Or excuse me, August of 2021. Try to hone in on just that region. Okay, there we go. Here's the amount of trades we made. So let's get down here and you see nice, nice upward trend, some rather steep accumulation, another nice upward trend, some more accumulation, so forth. This is reasonable. This is acceptable. And as you can see, I am making money simply by letting the market do what it needs. This is the whole point of Jackrabbit and what Jackrabbit has always been about. Consistency through simply using a turtle approach. It's not the fastest trading strategy. It doesn't get the most profits. But it maintains the most consistent profits on a regular basis. As you can see, its consistency within its trade cycles are all but guaranteed. It does well. It is consistent. It is reliable. And for $5 a month for the strategies, or $10 a month for the premium signals, it's hard to beat this kind of reliability. You don't need a strategy or a signal that's $150 a month. When you have something simple like this, that just requires a little bit of patience and time. You do need to research your own coins. And I always recommend coins above 1 billion market cap. But this is very clearly and it very distinctly demonstrates the value of simplicity. Okay, now I'm going to change to my other account. Okay, here we go in my second account. This account tests only the strategies. 
Particularly, I am testing the worst case scenario with the most aggressive approach. And this is my current dashboard. Now, this is absolute aggression in the worst way imaginable. Where Jackrabbit has a balance of roughly $350 to $400 per asset, the premium signals are roughly the same for maximum. This can be absolute insanity and require a minimum of a thousand per coin or asset, sometimes even as much as four thousand per coin, depending upon just how poor it is. This is the absolute most aggressive you can be with the market. As you can see from the standpoint of the position sizes, they're not small here. This is a paper trader. It's an analyzer. It helps tell me what coins are the best and the worst. This is a nightmare coin. I don't recommend it. I don't care if it's above 1 billion market cap. It is just very difficult to deal with if you want an extremely aggressive attack protocol. So if you're looking to attack the market, that's not a good coin. And that's the point that you will see with this particular paper trader. As you can see, if you want to be ultra aggressive and have the budget, it will be ultra aggressive. But with the risks that this offers, the rewards match those risks. And we will get to that soon enough. Again, you see the consistency of profit with Jackrabbit. That is the point. Consistency. No matter what my daily percentage is, my trade cycles are always what I want them to be. My trade cycles are what I determine as appropriate to whether or not what I am doing is successful. Okay, let's get into the trade history. Okay, let's go into just the cells. That way we can look at some of the worst case situations that this aggressiveness does. You can see here the amounts are quite large. You can also see coins that don't have very good market cap. Well, they are something else. They accumulate a lot more. For example, right now, $3,000 at 2%. That is a nice profit. That's a very nice profit. See, 2% of 1000 is $20. This one coin would have brought in a roughly $60 profit. Of course, having that much in accumulation, that's a bit of a concern if you're not used to this kind of accumulation. This is where Jackrabbit truly displays its hyper-aggressive aggregating averaging algorithm. It is an attack on the market. It does attack the market head on. This paper trader demonstrates that attack process very well and very aggressively. But all of which still show absolute consistency with some very nice profits along the way. 3% of $900. Not bad. So let's get into the statistics. Okay. 
August until now. Let's refine this. Let's focus on November 14th until now. When the market lost 50 to 75%. Let's see how an attack strategy manages that much market loss. As you can see, it trades aggressively. It didn't slow down in the trading at all. If anything, it picked up in the trading and became more aggressive. Seventeen hundred trades, an average of two point two percent profit. Six hundred and twenty nine buys. And here you see my profit basis. Pretty good considering just how aggressive it was with this kind of a bearish market. So let's come down here more. You see the coins. 13 minutes to turn this coin around on average. QTIM 2.71% average. And of course, here is my biggest number of coins. Now let's get down to the profit. Looks like this is where Crypto Hopper had an outage, but you can see I am in a deep accumulation cycle. And here it looks like the accumulation finally broke and began selling off, which the dashboard shows that since I still have some positions with $3,000 in them. But let's put this in context. Let's go to July 1st, and let's Reset the year. There we go. Helps when you type the right numbers. So now we will see the total context of just what this trading bot did and the information it collected that I use to help make informed decisions about what I think the market direction is going to be next. And that's the whole point of why paper trading is so critical. You need to collect this information to help you see which coins will do well under what conditions and exactly what to expect from that coin with a given condition. This paper trader is extreme aggression. My other paper trader is extreme defensiveness. So between the two of them, I get an average look of what the market would be from both an aggressive side and a defensive side. And that is really the best tool you can have. Nothing can replace that kind of information. And it is loading a lot of data apparently. There we go, it finally loaded. You can see the number of trades I did. 
quite aggressive. Thirteen thousand cells. Six thousand by the strategy. My average profit. That was a nice day, but one in a few. My average holding times. And now we get down to the coins and just what kind of a profit they did. Not bad for a coin that really has a very poor market quality. And of course, the coins that did the best. My big performers. And now, the part that really matters. How successful was this aggressiveness over the long term? Other than Crypto Hopper's glitches, I would say very. Even right now, where I'm in an accumulation state, look at where I'm at here versus last year. That is the point of consistency of turtle trading. A lot of people think that you need a trailing stop loss to follow the price up. Or that you shouldn't leave profit on the table. All of that is nonsense when you look at the bigger picture. Because there's always a chance that you're going to miss the opportunity and lose money. By having a flat take profit, you're guaranteeing yourself that's money in the bank and you don't worry about it. People that say holding on for dear life is the best way to manage your portfolio, this proves them wrong. People that say you should wait for the reversals, good for them. If you are skilled enough to pick the right opportunity to get in the market, that's wonderful. I'm not. Most people aren't. Having an algorithm that just attacks the market head-on aggressively shows clearly without any doubt that averaging in general works consistently and powerfully. Jackrabbit has and always will be that tool. So the ones that like to say that the $5 strategies aren't worth it or the $10 signals are garbage well, good luck to them because my Twitter feed is filled with people crying about how they lost money from these kind of signal providers or strategists. I don't believe in the hype of advertising because I don't need to. My advertising is right here. Proof of the numbers. Consistency, stability, and profitability are all that matter at the end of the day. All the fancy screenshots, all the flashy graphics, and all the cherry-picked and hand-picked signals don't matter. All that matters is the real numbers of analysis. Okay, talking about numbers, let's take a look at real numbers. These are numbers proven by Crypto Hopper. Numbers that they collect based upon how my strategy works and how my signals work. Here is the free sampler. This is what they say. Again, independently reviewed by them not hand-picked. Now this of course is ADA. And you see precisely what they say along with a graph chart.
You can, of course, see the sides here. But this isn't the fun one. This one's kind of, yeah. Let's get down to the real one. Here is what Crypto Hopper says. Third party verification of consistency. This is not just what I say. This is what their own systems say. On top of this, I don't hand pick or cherry pick certain coins. These signals work on every coin and exchange trades. Good or bad, you will find out exactly what that coin represents. I don't give you just the best coins and pretend the rest don't exist. I run every single coin. I make sure that when you come to these signals, you get all of the information you need to make informed decisions on which coins will give you the best profitability. And yes, I even show the losers. Coins you shouldn't be trading because they're going to lose money. Coins that just don't do good. And then coins that stay in line with the way they should. Real statistics. Not hand-picked. Not cherry-picked. Not the best coins. Real coins. Real analysis. Real trustworthy results so let's come back up here and let's go to real-time statistics here we are good bad otherwise you see which quote currency doesn't do well, which ones do do well. Again, this is by their basis. The reality of it is very simple. I provide this information to help you, my subscribers, or to help somebody who wants to become my subscriber to get the best. It's not flashy, there's no fancy lead-ins, no great videos promoting it. Just real numbers. That is the whole point of Jackrabbit. So while you're searching the marketplace looking for something to try, and you keep hearing other signal providers say, if it doesn't cost you 50 or or $100 a month, it's not worth your time. Ask yourself, what do they give you for your time and your money? Do they give you a year's worth of information? Do they give you support around the clock? Do they give you an algorithm that has been proven in every market condition? That is what I give you. That is what I give every Jackrabbit subscriber. So, if you are one of my subscribers, now you see behind the scenes of just how much work goes into making sure you stay profitable. If you're not one of my subscribers, maybe you need to ask yourself why you're letting yourself lose money. Consistency and time are the best secrets of profitability. There's no quick get rich quick schemes. There's no on season or off season in the market. The market has opportunities all the time, even in a bearish state that we've had since November 15th. Research, analysis, careful planning, 
proper risk mitigation and a proper budget guarantee the best chance of success. Having tools like Jackrabbit only takes that success one step further. Until next time.